Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Stellaris Nemesis. We are currently in a war with the Athalid Concern, along with uh, the, the uh, Demerics, and um, my personal goal is to grab a couple systems that are here, and then eventually expand out into that. Not entirely sure how well it's going to work, Ships but we upscaled. are going to try. Right now though, I have my fleets heading back to... Uh, do some upgrades, upscaled. and hopefully they'll be a little bit better Ships suited for dealing upscaled. with these guys. Ships upscaled. Our allies are trying, but Ships they're not exactly upscaled. doing the best either, though. Ships upscaled. Ships upscaled. Hmm. I have some espionage opportunities here. Destroy a random module or building on a particular starbase. Well... I have plenty of people suited for sabotage. Let's do it. Uh, let's go for the Yugzim station and launch. See if we can maybe Ships reduce its upscaled. abilities. Ships upscaled. Uh, what is this? Oh, with Ralakith. Eh, ready an extraction team. And we got our galactic market. Nice. Alright, that will help in the long run. Because now we can Ships focus on energy scaled. credits and then use those energy credits to buy what we need. Our fleet is almost back at Seoul. And then we can put this little transport fleet to follow them. Grizzly Countermeasures. An operative in the Athalid Concern has fallen foul of anti-tampering device installed in the service ducts of the Starbase. Their injuries are severe, but our operative managed to complete their task and has maintained cover so far. It's clear the authorities, however, to the Athalan authorities, however, that the incident was unusual, bordering on, bordering on suspicious. Questions are being asked, and the longer our operative remains in their medical care, the greater the risk, our cover will be blown. Proceed without them. Or, let's see. Oh, disavow? No, I don't care about that. Proceed without them. We're not going to cancel it, because we want it to succeed here. And we also have an election going on, which I guess I could use some of my stuff for. Um, this guy ruling from Seoul is actually the best. My only concern, though, is he's gonna die early, but we'll elect him. We have the influence for it. Alright, so our weapons are improving. That's a good thing. I'm still overall concerned, though, that on how how well we're gonna do. All right, so uh, unwavering insight or panicked operatives. Let's try that. The fifty-fifty. That seemed to work all right the last time we did it. Our operatives have reacted with horror upon learning the truth of their once intangible suspicions. The spy master revealed only a glimpse of the bigger picture to them, but it was sufficient to disrupt our supply lines. Our ability to subvert the recryption is reduced for a time. Well, I think it was bound to become uh, more difficult anyways, so whatever. I'm still trying to figure out what the best method is to try and take over control of this federation. Because the way things are right now, Research with how they're using the Federation fleet, is just completely disgusting. It is such a waste. Okay, thank god we got habitats finally, though. Uh, go for... Go for the FTL inhibitors. I was gonna go for the shields, but the FTL inhibitors might be good. 
in case they get into my territory. Or I could start with it and then eventually just do... Um, Like, we got a little bit into FDL. Let's do shields. Because the shields are going to be good for fighting this war as well. Alright, a batch of operatives left for the Athalid concern. Their cover involves piloting a nondescript cargo vessel. Shuttle Tidarium. <laughs> Told is packed with what appears to be Athalan scanners as rare crystals and other precious material or minerals. We trust that the bare-faced simplicity of this strategy will serve as its own bluff. Terraforming is approaching being complete. We might be done with it by the time Ships that sealed. this episode is done. Which would be nice. We got even more upgrades? What else are we upgrading here? Oh, the combat computers. Okay. Nulf. Um, oh, I forgot. I wanted to go to Alam. Replace this with a corporate embassy. Um, Oros, I can also replace with a corporate embassy. Ika, I don't think I can. No. Those I don't think I can. So I'm replacing, I think, two of my miners, so we'll do that to make up for it. I think that's Ships about all I can scaled. do. But the other corporate embassies, so we're doing what? Two corporate embassies here? One, two. It's an extra 10% to our diplomatic weights from our economy. It'll help. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it'll help. And I guess we're almost done with what we can do. So I guess the only other thing to do is just commercial zones. Once we've finished Sirius, um... Then we'll have more land to kind of expand on to. Now I am interested how how it is to become like the city district. Is it just the industrial and the city districts? Are those what remain? Or are there other options? Um, other things that I can keep here. I want to say it's you need you can keep the industrial and the city districts, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they've changed any of the other stuff, especially because as soon as this released, we went to, into 3.0.1. The bait has been taken. Our operatives have gone dark, as they work to establish themselves within the hostile starbase. A spymaster awaits further signals from them. Station under assault. Oh, that's not a very important station. So, we can survive that. Alright, you guys move out. Um, 3.1 for that starbase. I still have absolutely no idea what the AI is trying to do here with just keeping these forces um, and not moving them. I almost wonder if we should just go for rotation. Only thing that hurts cohesion, doing the rotation. 
Um, random is possible as well. Oh, nope, our guys are fleeing. Come on, you cowards. How are we doing here? Uh, coded signal arrived, indicating that our operatives now stand ready. We've successfully sabotaged a military support structure aboard the Yugazim Station Starbase. Our operatives report minor casualties. Uh, this blow we've dealt to the combat logistics within the Athalid concern will not go unnoticed. Infiltration level goes down by 45. Ooh. We're down to 5 now. Uh, we can get a Ships caravan upscaled. cruiser for 2,500. You know what? Let's do Ships it. Upscaled. It does kind of take us over our limit. But I'll take it. Ships upscaled. Ships upscaled. If we lose it in the battle, you know what? That's fine. Ships upscaled. Ships upscaled. Are we going to have enough power for it, though? 2.8 and 4... 400... 3.2? I still don't think it's going to be enough. Business management nexus. Hmm. Need rare crystals for it, though, so that's not the best. Do the society research. Meanwhile, Sirius is finally ready to be colonized, so let's go grab that. We can finally expand our uh, economy a little bit more. We might be able to move and take this station. I guess it's worth a shot. Um, I don't know if I should recruit another admiral here, but we're gonna do it anyways. Try and take that here. Oh, and there goes the whole, the whole damn thing. Really quickly. They have are they using disruptors against this or the uh, energy siphon? I'm not sure, but either way our fleet is being decimated. Oh, this is so bad. I mean we've taken out some of the stuff there, but still so bad. And now we're completely pathetic. Retreats. There's a bunch of stuff that we can uncover here, though. If we can somehow clear that sector. Yeah, that debris would be very nice to grab. So far, these guys seem to be doing okay, but I don't know why they didn't grab the station there. So the readied shield. Um, naval capacity goes up, ship upkeep goes up, and diplomatic weight from fleet power goes up. Sure, why not? Repair, repair. We lost our Admiral. You know what? Honestly, let's just merge the fleet. I hate using the caravan cruisers or any of the spawn stuff in my fleets, but it's, it's fine for now. I think here... 
let's go for the naval capacity. Supremacy, expansion... Expansion reduces Empire Sprawl. Domination... Um, the housing is nice. Beyond that, not really. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. Oh, we finally did our little colony. Oh, and now we can't do it. Fleet Manager. All right, go up to 20 Corvettes. And we'll do that for destroyers for now. I'm gonna go with Supremacy. That'll increase our ability to do damage. You know, even losing my fleet, a, a lot of my fleet there anyways, my I'm still like almost on par with the Tribunal. The Elaminid though, I mean, especially because they can take all of this territory. I'm not doing well catching up to them. We are at our next Federation level though. Federation, oh, going to High Federation Centralization. Sure, why not? Research actualized. And this Yuma Ito, I'm gonna send you over into the Merricks. Maybe we can grab some uh, research there or something like that. Capacity subsidies will be nice. Especially if I was to focus on like generator districts here. Not not saying I will, but it's a possibility. Uh-oh, Jeff has declared war on the magnificent anime empire. Who will win? Can we even look at what um When it comes to wars, do we... Okay, so... We do still get information on attacker war exhaustion. Uh... High fleet contribution? Sure... Uh, not that you're gonna do anything with it, because you s continue to just fail. You're not even repairing the damn ships! Oh my god. Well, at least I've bypassed the tribunal now. Now we just gotta get rid of the Olamidid. Uh, yeah. Uh, regulatory facilities. Increases diplomatic weight from the economy, so let's support that. This hurts weight from the economy. I'm going to oppose it. Um, let's see. So they want President Decides War Declaration. I am voting no on that. I hope everyone else does too. Or no, they just want to give it all to the president. Son of a bitch. I mean, it'll be great if I can take over as president. Alright, 
right, let's go back to the fleet manager. Increase our destroyers up to the fleet limit. 56. 56, okay. And I'm not going to get that debris that's out here. Son of a... That would have been nice. Plasma throwers, basic strike crafts, better armor, uh, all that sort of stuff that would have been nice to have. And all because the AI does not know how to fight a war. At least not the allied AI. I mean, I guess technically the Athalids haven't been fighting very well here either. For the hell of it, I'm going to try to spark a diplomatic incident again. we done with habitat we are almost done with habitat research okay so what's our first thing that we're gonna Good do Venus where you find it we could do Venus as our first habitat ooh the nice thing here is we can start to build all of these different buildings like right from the start can I do the robot assembly I can do the robot assembly okay cool no, Jeff, why? Research actualized. I thought we were friends. Research actualized. So do another city district. Habitability. Oh, but commerce megaplexes. Although the commerce megaplex... Can I buy rare crystals? I can buy rare crystals. So you know what? Let's do the Commerce Megaplex. Because I'm going to need more jobs on Seoul here. And Anti-Gravity Engineering. That's yes. Alright, so Voidborn. Go ahead, take you. Increase our habitat. Habitability. And let's work on the Venus habitat. A foreign federation has consolidated. Yeon Empire and the Yuraki Imperium. Neither of which I'm too concerned about at the moment. Alright, you guys move over here. And we will try again to take this little place. Of course, now they're up to 4.0. Oh, why must they be more powerful now? Oh, I see. So, wants to give the Makar Collective Association status. It's these guys up here. You know what? Why not? So, I see what the Alamanids are up to. They're dealing with stuff over here. They've actually lost some of their territory. I steal more technology? Yes, I can. Commence when ready. Launch. Hopefully it'll be good technology. No guarantee that it will be, but I can hope. Honestly, I wonder if I should build, send a spy over here to these guys to steal some technology as well. 
Or even from like the Alamanids. I mean, they're equivalent technology wise. Uh, let's see. So a resounding success tarnished Athalan relations with the Sabulan Star Church. That wasn't who we wanted to do it with, damn it, but whatever. Are these guys heading over here? It looks like they want to, but then they kind of change their minds. I mean, I could try to come and attack them right here. But honestly, I should repair the fleet before I do that. Before I even think of doing that. Alright, robot assembly is complete. How's our population looking? It's getting there. Let's uh, set up for the gene clinic as well. Can't do it because that's claimed by allies. Damn it all. Any of you guys following any of my people? No, of course not. Loss of bureaucracy. Due to a major clear major clerical error, serious serious crime has fallen behind in infrastructure of me. Uh, let's, let's do, we have a strong community, help them recover. Gain some unity from it. Uh, let's see. We'll call in our local asset here. It did help. Oh god. The Athalids are taking over all of this stuff over here. That is just sad. Like, come on, people. You're you're supposed to be the prime person in this alliance, and you are failing mis miserably. Wait, what? Who are the, uh... Oh. These guys became the Sabulan Star Church. What the hell? I was like, who the hell are the Sabulan Star Church? Now I see. They're the, uh, the roost guys. Now they're at to 5.3. Really? Oh, Hex. Hex, I say. Let's at least take this back for them. And I'm gonna build another city district because I'm gonna need administrative. Also, if I was playing this um, in a different way, I probably would have focused more on maybe using automation a little bit. But because I've played the way I have, I'm really not doing anything as far as automation goes. Low Federation Cohesion. Damn it, people. And of course the Alamanids, the leaders of this damn federation, aren't actually contributing. Like what the hell are your problem, people? Research actualized. Alright, let's go for the X-ray Nexus. Yeah, I'm just really irritated with my quote-unquote allies. Because they are doing a horrible job at trying to lead us. And now they're even harming our Federation. Yeah, 
yeah, we really need to start to build up, and then once we're done building up, we gotta prepare to take back this damn federation and fix it. Ah, uh. so just irritating. Wait, is the war over? Oh, the war is over. Hey, I took my couple places here. I'll take it. Encounter in Joinum. First contact with the mysterious aliens in the Joinum system. Array? I'm not too concerned about it because I don't have anyone available. All lines are busy right now. Uh, finder operative. We need to steal that technology there. Alright, one good news I have starbase capacity. So I'm going to build up this place. Spy network overextended. Can no longer support its ongoing operations. Ongoing espionage operations are suspended until demands on upkeep and infiltration level can be met. So, wait, what is... Is this the one that's going on here? Is that just because our infiltration level has fallen so much? I'm guessing so. Alright, let's see. Industrial districts... Or mining districts. Let's do one industrial. We'll do one agriculture for support. Uh, one generator for support. And then we'll do three mining districts. I'll even do the mineral purification plants. Alright folks, that's going to be it here for today. Um, good news, we were somewhat successful in our little war with the Athalid Concern. And it does give us an opportunity to extend our claims. Uh, actually quite a bit. So we can like claim all of this. We haven't visited or don't have intel on what? Okay, um, you are going to have to go visit all of this while we have the opportunity. So, explore, explore, explore. And we finished work on our habitat. Okay, good. Alright, folks, that's going to be it here for today. Um, hopefully, now that we've taken this little starting place, uh, we can expand our control. We'll set up a good uh, starbase here, and then kind of just push out, go from there. But yeah, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode.